Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We want to warn you, some of this subject matter may not be suitable for young children. From health concerns to Cardi B's backside, are beauty standards pushing black women into back alley surgery? Mm -hmm. mm -mm. But here to share the importance of safety in plastic surgery is board certified plastic surgeon, Dr. Myla Bennett. Yeah. 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 Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Mm -hmm. Why aren't black women talking about plastic surgery? Black women are talking about they're plastic surgery. It. You they're, think so? Girl, yes. <laughs> they're talking about it, they're doing it, and they're getting themselves killed doing it. Mm. Mm. Yes. Let me ask you a question, just off the grid, but still on, on the same pathway. Mm -hmm. When did this become uh, the influx of, you know, uh, big boobs and butt and, and hips and thighs? When did that become a thing for black women? We come custom made like that. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I'm confused as to why are we enhancing and why are we finding ourselves uh, putting so much pressure on ourselves to go and enhance things that, we're, that are already God given? Um, insecurity. Mm. I, think it's, I think insecurity is a huge part of it and then Social media has just increasingly become such a huge part of everyone's lives. Mm -hmm. And um, people, they look at stuff constantly on Facebook, and I don't care how big your buddy is, eventually something is going to come through your timeline bigger, and mm -hmm. somebody's waist is going to be smaller. Mm -hmm. And then you think, well, if I, you know, get this myself, and I'll get that same attention, I'll get the man, I'll get whatever. Honey, the man's still cheap. Big boobs mm -hmm. and That's all. the thing. <laughs> and the ma and those, uh, a lot of those girls who have those super curvy caricature like bodies mm. don't have a man. Mm. You know what, Dr. So it's not even working. The mm. question I have, um, have you when you see these women coming into the office and, and like I said, we, we come custom made with these booties and these and these breasts. Um, have you ever had to <laughs> But you know, when, have you ever had a woman come into the office that was that was pretty, you know, stacked anyway? Mm -hmm. And you, had you ever had to tell her, "Hey, listen, this will be too much, mm -hmm. and you don't need this." Had That's you ever had to counsel enough. anyone mm -hmm. um, as far as their insecurities are concerned to, for safety? Mm -hmm. I do that all the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they still I don't probably listen. turn uh, more people away than the average surgeon, and some people I don't necessarily turn away. But it's a not right now type of thing. Mm -hmm. And um, here's Dr. Sherry, my my therapist. You can go to her too. I know that's. Mm -hmm. I'll let them know that I, that's my girl. That's my girl. She got my life all the way right. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Yes, but I think too when I share that about myself, they they don't think that I think they're crazy, mm -hmm. and it's almost like okay. So I'll have a lot of women talk to, to her or someone like her yes. first. Yes, mm -hmm. that's important, that's mm -hmm. important. Now, we've been very transparent, Selena and I, about getting Botox, we, I, I love it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I did <laughs> I like start in one area, and then I started that's going up right. higher, and then I went to the side. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Is it, am I becoming a little bit obsessed, and like, how do you stop you that? all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you're aging. It's nothing right. wrong with um, enhancements to keep yourself looking like yourself. Right. The problem is when you go off course and you start to look like somebody else. Got it. Mm -hmm. Right. So it. I tell my patients I'm the plastic surgeon. Like and this the person. Child. Oh, wow. oh my wow. God. See, wow. that's Who just, would want wow. that for themselves? That wow. is so annoying. Mental Getting in and out of, out of cars, having to wipe yourself in the bathroom, <laughs> that can't be a good time. It's well, just, uh, the, the clothes, what clothes are you? Everything is that's a stretch pan. Everything, everything, everything is a stretch pan. You know what I'm saying? My so, gosh. But, 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 but let's just talk a little bit about that. I don't want to come down too hard on, on that particular individual, but I'm just saying we, we need to be mindful that things are really happening. Like people are losing their lives. Dying. They're mm -hmm. flying overseas mm -hmm. to go and get these um, um, uh, surgeries, and then when they come back, there's no real follow-up. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? That's right. And what complications are they now experiencing when they're going over yes. to Colombia, yeah. Dominican Republic, or Brazil to get all of these surgeries? And then who's caring for them after the fact to ensure their health? in their safety. That is such a great question. Mm -hmm. um, so what tends to happen when they come back from places like the Dominican Republic, so there's a percentage of people who are just fine. And then there's a nice chunk of people who are not fine. And mm -hmm. they don't have a doctor here, like a surgeon, a plastic surgeon here to take care of them. And the plastic surgeons there, if they're actually a plastic surgeon, mm -hmm. they aren't interested in them anymore. So then they're kind of stuck. 
it's it's customary for surgeons to take care of their own complications. So when mm -hmm. someone calls and says, I have an issue, I just had surgery in the Dominican Republic last week, the doctors here won't see them. So what ends up oh, happening, wow. they'll be in Facebook groups with other women who have had surgery overseas, and then they'll be getting advice from them or advice from YouTube trying to doctor themselves. Oh, mm, they will, mm. um, and when it gets life-threatening, they'll end up in the ER. Mm. Mm, if it's awful. not a life-threatening complication, then the ER won't really do anything for them either because that's for emergencies. So it's they're, in a, bad, yeah, it's they're in a bad situation. Yeah, they're in a bad situation. My goodness, my goodness. What, oh. is, what is this um, this new thing? I don't even know if this is new, but have you heard of women putting tire sealant? Huh? Yes. There was oh, yeah, like the a whole the, epidemic. The, it's called the fixer flat. Yes. <gasps> yes. Yeah, the tire yeah. sealant in their mm. their bottoms to to increase them and dying. Mm. Oh no. They, or if they don't die, then they end up having really hideous complications mm -hmm. down the road. Mm -hmm. There's multiple people on. K. Michelle spoke she, out against she spoke getting, about it right here getting on the show. illegal mm -hmm. injections into her backside, and she's gone through multiple surgeries and almost lost her life in the surgeries oh my God. trying to get the stuff out because the 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 substances will migrate to other places and make yeah. you very sick. Yes. And the only way to remove it is to is surgically. But the issue with that is when you remove that stuff surgically, it can kill you because when you cut into it, it, it can set up a huge yes. reaction in your body that literally kills you. It's so just not oh worth it. No. So what, what would you say to that young girl who's mm -hmm. trying to change her image mm -hmm. Through plastic surgery, nothing wrong, wrong with a little augmentation here and there. Right, I mean, but girl, what they nice to girl. <laughs> oh, who did this? But, uh, <laughs> what you tell that young girl who's trying to change her whole image, though, mm -hmm. through plastic surgery? That, so I try to help women see the beauty in themselves, the human. This, this is it, it's bigger than me. Mm -hmm. I think. Um, parenting needs to change a little bit because so much attention is put on what people look like. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, she's so pretty. I Like with my daughter, even though she's one, I'm like, you're so funny, Myla Rose. You're so smart. Like I try to, other people are going to say that we have to just make our girls a lot more confident and give them better examples of women who are successful and strong that, that aren't people who look like that right. mm -hmm. so that they can see that beauty can be all different looks right. so that they embrace themselves absolutely or there's other qualities yes. right. beyond beauty like, right. like yeah. intelligence exactly, yes. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. take that away from exactly. Exactly. kindness my oh, goodness and you were very that. kind for coming down to yes. the circle today you were very kind for having me yes please give it up for Dr. Myla Bennett for more information and to talk about the, or find more information about the importance of safety, please make sure you visit Dr. Bennett on Instagram at Dr. Myla, and also make sure you check out her Pretty RX brand as well. Yes. She is doing yeah. big things, yeah. and we're very excited for your success.